LSU at home after getting whipped by 30 by Texas A&M. They're home against Alabama, trying to get to three and one in conference play. Inside, Dwap Reith to Aaron Epps, easy dunk. LSU up three, now tied. Skyler Mays to Dwap Reith, creates a little space and. And throws that down. So You're curious to see how LSU would respond from that bad loss at A&M, but they came out came out sharp and focused on the offensive end and defensive end, thanks to Reese. Little nifty little hook there. He had eight in the first half. Then Mays blows by everybody. Good move, there. Good half at LSU. Yeah. Good half. But a half is called a half because <laughs> they played two of them. We got to give them about 35 minutes though. They did okay. Dejon Ingram steal dunk. 39 apiece, then Ingram to Riley Norris. Three, next Bama possession. Ingram to Riley Norris. Three, Norris, three for seven from outside. 20 points in the game for him. The team hit 10 threes in 28 tries. Ingram, another kick out. Dari, I got a stat for you as Corbin Collins knocks it down. Yeah, give it to me. Collins and Ryle, uh, Norris, three for 20 in SEC play from three coming into this. Ten for 18 tonight wow. combined. So wow. these guys caught fire at the right time as we see Dante Hall. Give him some barbecue chicken out. <laughs> <laughs> Ingram to Corbin Collins, who had 24 in Corbin Collins. That's a season high for him against the school where he started his college career. He went to LSU before going to Moorhead State, Alabama, 30 to 12 run to end the game. You look over the final 10 minutes, there were 11 lead changes and no team led by more than six until the final five minutes. And in those five minutes, Bama outscored LSU 25 to 10. They are now three and one in conference play. They've won five of their last six.